anyway, so um, I've done PBF videos before, but uh, I didn't have a GoPro, so I should be getting a bit better footage here. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. You might see in my older videos, I had a glass board up here last. And even in my older videos, I had it on the over above my shelf there kind of thing. But um, I got a nice flat, p brand new piece of glass here. Better than the old broken windshield. It's straight and it doesn't have any cracks. Well, anyway, so I'm going to use that to cut on. And uh, I use masking tape and a marker, whatnot, to make myself a nice pattern and everything. I'm going to start with the... Uh, the door sills here, just since this will be the easiest, I'm going to do from here to here, and then I'm going to cut out around here. I'm, going to do, I'm just going to use my marker, make a nice pattern of that, do measurements, whatever, and then uh, we'll get that on there. You can see he's already getting some scratches in there now. Alright, so first, 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 first I'm just going to do a, a rough measurement. I'm going to go from the edge of this metal over here. To this crack here, we got 18, and then looks like it might actually get narrow over here, but um, I have a cloth measuring tape that will do a better job of this. <coughs> what cloth? Nylon, whatever, flexible one. Four and a half. Okay, four and a half by 18. So I just sprayed this with glass of water. I'm squeezing it out to stick it down. Then I cut a nice straight edge here. Then I'll start measuring from that after. Nice spike in the middle there. That hurt. Stuck me good. I forgot to turn the camera on, but I just held this up here in position where it's going to go, and I kind of looked here, make sure you can actually see what I'm doing here. Yeah, so then I kind of looked right here, and I m m marked, and I'm going to connect this jaw line there, and cut that out for that little groove here, just to go around that. And this will be ready to install, give it a quick clean dog call. Get that on. Brand new Jeep, you wanna do this right. You know you Jeep, you wanna do it right, but.
So now, the second piece, instead of having to do that all over again, I'm just going to trace it out. That'll be a quick cut. Quick clean with alcohol. We'll get that on there. I already cleaned this, so I don't have to do too crazy a job, but we do want to get it good and clean. Just trying to get a bit of the water out, get <coughs> get tacked in place for now. As you can probably see, it's wanting to move around a lot right now. All right, so give it a spray for the slides. And go over to my squeegee. Squeegee, gee, 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 gee. I'm lifting that back so that it doesn't bridge that and it goes into that corner there actually. It doesn't go across and lift up like that sort of thing. Which is what it's going to want to do. I'm just going to take my time to get all that water out of there. Might speed this up so it might not look like I'm taking my time, but. Alright, so I'm gonna spray some alcohol in there. It'll help it tack a bit. It doesn't want to stick in the edge. Could just cut it there, but I'd like to give them as much coverage as I can. Once it starts to stick, it should be good. It's just getting it to want to curve down. I think next time I order PPF, I'm gonna go with different brand, something a little more tacky. Maybe just how thick it is, I don't know, but I don't find this stuff tacks very good. All right, it's the same as the doors. I've already clay barred everything. I'm just gonna wipe this with alcohol now, and I'm ready to stick my piece on. So I tried to not spray the truck too much with the Jeep, I mean, just so the water doesn't get in everywhere and I'm not running into the problem of it coming out and I can't get it dry. Okay, so I kind of skipped a bit here. I got um, everything done but the top of the windshield and well the hood as you might be able to see here. Um, 
I, uh, for the hood, I really kind of did it different. I, I kind of, I, I measured it. I cut my uh, rectangle and then I, I stuck it on there and then I used the marker to kind of trace this and then I took it off clean. I had that nice and clean. I stuck it on my glass board here and I cut the, the extra little round corners and a bit here to make it fit right and then put it back on here. It might not work. It might have hair under it or something, but then I can use that as a pattern after worst case Ontario kind of thing. All right, I'll let that drive it and I'll come back to that. All right, let's put a bit of heat on this too. Um. Try and get it out, but if not, and this might be scrapped. <laughs> so far, it looks like I got it. 